Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting developing stories. We start with Frankie de Jong, while on international duty. Speaking after the draw against Poland, of course, Frankie de Jong spoke about Robert Lewandowski and his potential move to FC Barcelona. And, of course, Frankie de Jong made it clear that he wants Robert Lewandowski to join Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that report as we progress. Then, secondly, we are going to be talking about Pablo Gavi with this transfer bomb for Barcelona lovers out there. They have been claimed that Manchester City are interested in the Barcelona teenage prodigy. We are also going to be looking at that. So, guys, as we get right into it, please do well to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Speaking after the Netherlands UEFA Nations League class against Poland, Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong has admitted that he wishes to see Bayern Munich striker Robert Lewandowski join Barcelona. The 33 year old Robert Lewandowski has been heavily linked with a transfer to Barca heading into the summer. A contract agreement is believed to be in place already. Why the centre forward himself has admitted that he is not considering any offers apart from Barca's. Bayern Munich, though, have been reluctant to let go of their star striker and are continuing to insist that he will remain at the club and see out his contract, which expires next year. Frankie de Jong, who himself is at the centre of major transfer speculations, was spotted speaking to Lewandowski in the tunnel after the game between Netherlands and Poland, which ended in a 2-2 draw. The Barcelona midfielder was quizzed after the game if he was inviting Lewandowski to join him at Camp Nou this summer. In response, um, De Jong replied, He's an amazing player, one of the best in the world. It's up to him on his future to Barca. When propped further on the matter, Frankie De Jong added, Of course, I would like to have Lewandowski in my team. Despite the club's iffy financial situation, Barcelona are confident of signing Lewandowski in the summer. However, whether... He and the young will share the dressing room remains to be seen, as Barcelona are trying to offload Frankie de Jong amidst interest from Manchester United. Great words there from Frankie de Jong. Of course, seeing one of our players um, showing how much he loves to see Lewandowski to the team is is great to hear. You know, Lewandowski to Barcelona, the most talked about transfer right now when it comes to Barcelona transfers, and Frankie de Jong, as I earlier said, being in Heavy, um, hot transfer speculation himself being linked to a move to Manchester United since Eric Ten Hag took over. So as it stands, nobody knows because it's still very, very likely that both um, Frankie de Jong and Lewandowski don't even meet and play in one team, you know, or they never meet in one team ever again because from the likelihood, the Young might just leave to Manchester United and the operation for Lewandowski, which is pressing right now, might just walk out, you know. So the way the young is talking about it is just as if he will play with, he will play with, you know. But who knows? Maybe they can still play because Barca is a very funny club. They can be talking about this every single day, but they will not materialize it. And at the end of the day, all of us will be frustrated. That is the nature of Barca these days, right? Which is not normal. It's not good. It makes no sense. So as it stands right now, things are still looking very, very tricky for both Lewandowski and Frankie de Jong when it comes to their future. I can't. It's, it's difficult for one to predict what will happen in the months to come when the transfer window opens. You know, let's see how it all ends up. But uh, Frankie de Jong have made his mind clear as he was speaking after the game, the draw yesterday against. Lewandowski is Poland that he wishes to see Lewandowski at Barcelona in the next season. Hopefully it works out. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona's lengthened negotiations with Pablo Gavi's agent have led to widespread speculation over the youngster's potential exit from Camp Nou this summer. With the midfielder's current contract expiring in 2023, many believe Barcelona could be forced to offload him if they fail to reach an agreement over a new deal. Barca have already tabled an official offer for renewal, but it appears the player is demanding a far more lucrative contract worth up to 5 million euros and possibly even more. 
With that in mind, Premier League clubs such as Manchester City and Liverpool are circling in on Gavi with a with recent, a recent report, report from, from the Miro, Miro offering, offering an update, an update on, the on the former interest, interest in the player. player. The, the, the report suggests Pep Guardiola, Guardiola is following, following the Gavi, the Gavi the saga, saga with, great with interest. great interest. The Man, the Man City, City boss rates the young star very highly, highly and is and looking, looking for a market, market opportunity to snap him up ahead, ahead of the new season. New season. Gavi's, Gavi's current contract at Barcelona includes his clause for around 50 million euros. euros. They've they 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 already cited that they have to match that figure in the past. Um, in the case of players, players to renew, renew. We, can we can only expect Man, Man City, City to do the same, given the economic firepower. The Barcelona club don't remain confident that they can reach an agreement with Gavi over a new deal. The club president John Laporta is aware of the young stars they have to continue at Camino under the tutelage of Xavi and Hernandez. It could, it prove, could to prove to be Vota in the negotiations, negotiations over the coming, coming weeks. weeks. Although, Although Barca, Barca must present an unproved proffer if, if they, they, they are, are to keep, to keep hold, hold of the young star. star. Gavi, Gavi currently earns, earns around, around you know, you know, 1 million, million euros, euros per season, season which, makes which makes him one of the most undervalued players, players in the first team. team. Whether, whether or, or not he will receive a new, new deal on par, Pedri or Antofati's package remains to be seen. I still don't get why up to now we still talk about renewal for Gavi. It's been long. It's been really, really long. Despite President Laporta coming out the other day saying that, you know, the renewal is not far away, it's close, and so on and so forth. But it just looks like it's, it's all a hoax. Like, I don't, I don't get it. And um, getting reports of Man City um, entering the fray for his signature, then that... That smells danger, I must admit. It smells danger for Barcelona. And they, they shouldn't just keep keep dragging things on and on. I'm tired of saying this every single time. You know, we need to be... They need to act fast. They need to act fast. You can't hurry to renew Sergi Roberto. Sergi Roberto of all people. Gavi is there. You have not renewed Gavi. You are waiting for what? Because of their demands or what? I, I don't I don't get it. I don't it's sometimes annoying to see how Barca just make things look so you know, I I speak this with a, with a pain in my heart with the way things have been and Gavi in particular I still don't get it why things are this way. We have been hearing reports of Gavi's agent and the Barcelona board not coming in terms of course what they are offering is too low. You know, Gavis can want something more. Because we even heard that the latest of that Barca made Gavis can refuse that it was too small. It was too small. So it's gonna drag it's gonna make things difficult. And Barca should be aware that there are other guys waiting for them. Pep Guardiola is a huge admirer of Pablo Gavi. You know. So if Barca start making that thing, they'll just come and pick him. And what is 50 million to pay? His release clause is just 50 million. And I don't think Man City will even, will, will not even feel that 50 million are something heavy for them. So it's, it's up to Barca to act fast. I still don't get why up to now. Well, every day we only talk about renewal clause, renewal clause. Every single day for months, renewal clause. When will it be finalized? That's what we want to hear. And that's how bigger clubs are putting an eye on Gavi. They have every right to do so because if they fail to reach an agreement, they will pick him up. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.